Log into your 23andMe account to download your raw data. Click on your account menu and navigate to browse raw data. A download link appears in the upper right corner. Input the correct answers in the security boxes. Then click on download data. A text file appears. Notice the data is referenced to assembly build 37. The file contains thousands of lines of data. Move the file to a location that's easy to find, like your desktop. Consider giving the file a simple name. V3 indicates 23andMe's version 3 chip. Data collected after November 2013 used the V4 chip. I like to place all my data in a single folder within documents. Let's call the folder, local data. Move your data file into the local data folder. Now launch Genome Browse. Use the Add button to bring up the Add Data Sources window. Make a bookmark to your newly created local data folder. Name the bookmark Local Data. Click on Browse to find the local data folder on your computer. Click OK and a bookmark to this folder appears in the Add Data Sources window. There you will find your 23andMe data. Check the box next to the file, then try to plot the data with Plot and Close. The raw data cannot be plotted in Genome Browse. The raw data must first be converted into a format that Genome Browse understands. Delete the track containing the unsuccessful attempt. To do so, right-click on the track's name and select Delete. Return to Add Data Sources. Again check the box next to the raw data file, but this time select Convert. Now add the raw data file into the Convert Source Wizard. Highlight the file name and click Next. Oh, we need to download a copy of DBSNP to complete the conversion. Back in the Add Data Sources window, locate a cloud source of DBSNP for downloading. Cloud files are stored in public annotations. There are several annotation types as you can see. We'll find DBSNP in the Variation and Function folder. There are several versions of DBSNP. Besides DBSNP, there are many other useful annotation tracks here. We will use these tracks to help us interpret genetic data. My notes point us to DBSNP 144 from NCBI. That's the version of DBSNP we want. After you check the file. You can read a description of the DBSNP144 annotation. Scroll down and you can see the many fields that will be available in this track. Okay, let's download this file. After you click the download button a download window appears. The time it takes to download this big file depends on your internet speed. If you move away from the download window, it is easy to bring it up again using the tools menu in Genome Browse. When the download is complete, you can locate your local copy of DBSNP144 in the User Annotations folder. Click the box next to the file then click Plot and Close. A DBSNP track is now displayed. 